What's up YouTube? Christian Hannahar here today. Um, guys, sorry about the low quality on this video. This is the Q&A. The reason this is low quality is because I'm out of town. Um, I had to go out of town unexpectedly to go work. And um, um, got all the questions written down right here, thankfully. And uh, we're going to do the Q&A right here. Um, I figured you guys would just like to see the video as opposed to me waiting until I got back just to put a little bit more production in it. You know, it's just a Q&A. But I've answered all the questions, and um, let's let's just get let's get right into an answer. And once again, I'm gonna say thank you. I've already gotten up to 819 subs, and I haven't put any videos out, so I'm guessing some of these old ones are still attracting fans. So that's good. But let's go ahead and do the Q and A. All right, question number one: Ert Hurt Wert one asks, "What is your birthday?" My birthday is April 8th every year. I was born on the year 1992, though. Dead by Dawn 93 asks, if you could meet any celebrity, living or dead, who would you meet and why? I have two that I would like to meet. First one would be John Carpenter. Just would like to sit and talk to him about movies. And the other one would be Alice Cooper, because he's my all-time favorite musician. Uh, he inspires me every day with music, and he shows that horror and hard rock just go hand in hand. Krusty Farts asks, does Michael Michaels like ketchup or mustard on his hot dogs? I don't know, to be honest with you. You'd have to ask him. Culture Dog asks, Out of your collection of laser discs, which is your favorite? And what's your favorite hard rock or metal song from a movie soundtrack? I love all my laser discs the same, they're all my babies, but you know, if I had to pick if I had to pick a favorite, I would probably say Probably go with my Japanese Return of Living Dead, some really good one or my Japanese Halloween three. Um, those are just, the Japanese ones are really cool. And what is your favorite hard rock or metal song from a movie soundtrack? Honestly, my favorite, like, hard rock song from a movie soundtrack, technically it's punk rock, but it's kind of a hard rock song. Pa Party Time by 45 Grave from Return of the Living Dead. Awesome song. The Christian J Show asks, when you go to sleep, do you get scared sometimes, and what are you going to be for Halloween? I mean, yeah, I get scared sometimes. If I, I get, if I have a real bad dream and I wake up from it, and kind of, kind of make me, you know, start a little bit. Um, I'm scared of pretty much all the same okay. stuff everybody else is, you know. Um, I do have, and this is this is gonna be going into detail for y'all, but I have a phobia of like pitch black. Like I go to sleep with the television on, and you know, I'm not scared of horror movies and my stuff. I, I watch horror movies going to bed, but I don't like pitch black. It just kind of kind of scares me. I don't like silence either. It's deafening to me. What are you going to be for Halloween? I don't know. I usually don't dress up. I usually just watch movies, but I'd love to be Freddy Krueger again. Johnny DVD asks, ever, brought, ever bought an item that you knew was overpriced, but you had to have it and bought anyway numerous, countless times? Um, the reason being, a lot of the horror stuff that I like and try to buy is, um, excuse that television, a lot of that stuff that I like to try to buy is already out of print. Um, like those, there, there was many animatronics that I like to get. Well, actually, I got those at a pretty good price. But there's, there's countless stuff because all this horror stuff was like booming. Like the, the, like the figures and stuff around 2006, 2007, going booming. And now it's like I'm finally starting to see all this stuff, and I try to get my hands on it, and it's damn near impossible to get it. And if you do find the stuff, it's hundred dollars. It's marked up 70, 80 percent what it originally cost. Sean Beard asks, are you down with the clown? Absolutely. Movie Film 1 asks, as a little kid, what were your favorites, horror and non-horror? As a little kid, man, i got to say Rocky. The whole Rocky series was big, big personal favorite to me. The Flintstones, I loved John Goodman. Um, Back to the Future, loved that. Um, horror movies would be like, like, I have a fond memory of like It. I used to watch it with my grandma all the time, so It would be be up there, you know, as, as one of my favorites. Creature Stole My Twinkie asks, do you have a P.O. box people can send you horror-related items? Also, what's your most prized horror piece? I've already talked to you about that, and um, Sydney, who's back home at the house, she got the package of what you sent me. If you're watching this, thank you so much. Add me on Facebook at Christian Hanna so I can personally thank you, man. Uh, I'll do a video on what it is. I don't want to just give it away. It's awesome. Bowie Fan T. Oh, let me excuse me. Let me finish the rest of the questions. What's your most prized horror piece in your collection? 
Probably my Halloween 3 trio because you can't get the ones that I own at all anymore. Um, Boy Fan T asks, Freddy, Jason, Michael, which one do you like best? And will you be watching Scream Queens? Yes, I'll be watching Scream Queens. I don't exactly know what it's about, um, but obviously I'm going to watch it, you know. Um, my favorite is Freddy, hands down. He's my favorite. Tormented Mind asks, do you live on your own or with your parents? What do you like collecting better, movies or props? I do live on my own. If you guys remember a while back when I said, when I moved, um, and I was, when I, re, when I showed you the new horror room, that was, that's my own house. Before I was living with my, living with my parents, but now I, I do live alone. Or with, I live with Sydney, it's just me and her. I don't live with my parents anymore. Um, and they're happy about that. No, it's not because I was real. I'm 23, but not because I was really old. I think it was just, um, horror, horror, being a horror fan, like, all the time, I'd be coming in with, like, animatronics in the house and stuff, and they're just like, okay, you know, they, they never had a problem with the horror stuff, but they're like, when do you stop collecting this shit? And I told them, you know, a horror fan, I tell you, never. Seeking, Seeking Bigfoot asks, any tips for laser disc collecting? I have a small collection, 15. Also wondering if you've heard of Shudder. It's like Netflix, but only horror movies. What's your opinion on it? Never heard of it, but I, I do, I will check it out, obviously, now. Um, that's pretty cool sounding. I'm going to try it. Any tips for laser disc collecting? Man, um... Never say, oh, there's no... Never be like, oh, there's no way they got laser discs. Always check. Um, I've learned that I, there, I have found laser discs because I, I check in certain places. Or not necessarily even check, just never never say never. You never know what you'll find where you find it. And eBay. Most people are still pretty good about their pricing on eBay. Baldy Jack asks, would you rather spend the night at Camp Crystal Lake from Jason Lives... Or the Hewitt residence from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003. No way in hell I'd go to the Hewitt house from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003. I'd go to Crystal Lake and just hang out with the children. Maybe I would live because he didn't kill the kids. And Zave D asks, What do you think about VHS nowadays? Do you still buy VHS and watch it? Sure, I, I don't just buy VHS for the hell of it. I usually, if it's a cool horror movie or some movie I really love, um, I'll get it. Like, let's say I found Return of the Living Dead on VHS. I'd get it. Do I still watch them every now and again? I'm a Laserdisc guy. That's what I usually try to watch my movies on. But sure, I love VHS. It's one of the most biggest um, companies that made a whole media format ever. So That's all the questions, guys. I do want to say I'm going to try to do a giveaway because you guys deserve it. I want to give something away, something good, and um, maybe it will be a Laserdisc. I don't know. I might do more than one. We'll see. But uh, I want to thank you guys again for the questions. Once again, I'm already up to 100, 8, 819 subs last time I checked, and it's just it's just bizarre. I'm sure before we know it, we'll be up to 1,000. And it's not about the subs. It's really not. It's just the subs is just kind of showing me. The subs to me shows that um, I, it's not like I make money off of this or anything. It's just the subs show me that um, people uh, are interested in, in what I'm showing, and that that's, makes me want to do it more, so... I just love doing the videos. If I had five subs, it would really wouldn't make a difference because I just like sharing. The comments is what I like because I don't have any. I've got great people that are loyal and always watch the videos and give me their input, which is what I really care about. So I just want to say thanks, and um, this is just the start of it. Even though I work a lot, I'll never stop doing the videos, and I'll never stop collecting. That's just It's in my blood. But once again, thank you guys so much, and... Um, if, if you missed the Q&A and you never got to ask something, just drop a comment on this video and I'll answer it. And that's no problem. But once again, guys, thanks so much and uh, we will see you all next time. Bye.